fire prevention is everyone's business. In order to manage risks and hazards and reduce catastrophic fire events during construction, there needs to be a plan and management model in place. In order to have an effective program, there must also be a system of accountability. Generally, it starts, I think, with the general contractors, the subcontractors involved in the phases of construction for a building because oftentimes it's what they do or what they don't do that causes those fires. I think safety is just part of what we do. Uh, we were required to provide certain parts and pieces on the job site and quality is part of the, the process that we provide as well as our safety program is just part of what we do and who we are. I look at this development as being a collective effort from the fire service, from building officials, and from the construction industry. So we all know what we need to do to protect buildings and those working around buildings from the start of a construction project to its very end when it's approved and people move in. The team that must work together closely to assure that a building is constructed safely and fire-free is made up of both public and private sectors. The building contractor is required to produce a safe working environment. The local building department provides enforcement and oversight of the building construction process in accordance with state and local statutes. The local fire department has two functions. The first is fire prevention and the second is fire suppression. Well, I believe the building and fire are on the same page. We're concerned with public safety. As the project is being developed, all those policies that we have in the California Fire Code or NFPA or any other excellent or best practices are put, put into play. Usually early on uh, on each project, we try to go meet with the fire marshal and the fire department that's closest to the job site. We talk about the type of project that we're building, uh, what any kind of particulars we have, especially with a wood frame job, what kind of fire protection uh, procedures and processes we're going to put in place. Many of the regulations, many of the requirements are in the fire code, but the bill inspector doesn't know them, and they're not aware of them, and they're not looking for them. They're counting how many nails in the sheetrock. Did it, it, does it meet the, the nailing specs? Building officials, their scope is compliance, code compliance. And so they don't think in terms of what may cause a fire. So with that, it's important that they have that open dialogue with their fire marshals, work together to have that commonality of understanding and then therefore have that greater implementation of the code to save lives, to prevent fires.